Hey, this is John Gallant. Just found out that the new GitHub pull request extension for VS Code was released, and I got a pull request that I got to review. So I thought I'd just use it and try it out and see what it's like. So the pull request is going to be for Azure IoT. Down here, this pull request, add text to missing connection string error. Of course, I could just go through here and comment on this, but uh, why not try out the new extension? First thing I'm gonna do is go and fork the repo. I've already got it forked, so I'm just gonna go to my fork here. I'm gonna clone and download to my local machine, which I have already done. So I'm just gonna go and open it. I'm gonna click on the Git uh, source control icon. That's gonna bring up the GitHub pull request uh, extension. If you haven't done so already, you can just go to extensions, search for pull requests and install it. You're gonna see that it says it has zero pull requests. That's just because my fork doesn't have any pull requests, but the actual upstream remote does. So I'm gonna add the upstream remote. To do so, I'm just gonna open up a terminal and just do a git remote add upstream with the full URL of the upstream. So let's go and get that. So you'll notice as soon as I added that remote, it adds all of the PRs from the remote. The PR I'm interested in here is add text. And the description file is a good overview of everything that's happening with this PR. This is just a very simple text change just to give you an idea here. The source of this PR is actually my team working with IoT Edge and we got this error which is argument is empty or only has white space. So while I like that they added a description of this error, I think that it can be improved. So let's go ahead and leave a comment here on the actual file. So I'm gonna click on the file. You notice that the extension does a pretty decent job of showing the side-by-side -side comparison, which is great. Uh, I'm just gonna go here and add a new comment. So I was actually thinking this plus sign here would add a comment, but it looks like it's just expand collapse. Let me see if I can right click add a comment. Uh, no, okay. So let me see. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so it looks like as long as there is a comment on that line of code, I can only reply. I could do a plus on the line above, but hmm, I really wanna add another thing here. Actually, okay, let's just go ahead and reply. How about we add a message? Okay, at this point, I'm good with that comment. So the interesting thing here is if I wanna do a review and not necessarily just add a single comment. I wanted to do a review. I think I go back to description. Did I just lose that entire thing I just typed? So if I lose focus, the text is gone, which is, it's pretty bad. Um, definitely needs to maintain the text there. If I'm on github.com and I want to reply here, when I click reply, I actually have the option uh, to start a review. So that will start a whole new review. Uh, if I'm in the GitHub extension and I go to the file and I do a reply, the only thing I have the ability to do is add a comment. What I really wanted to be able to do is start a new review. So that's definitely something that needs to be worked on. So let me just see what that experience is like. Uh, I would suggest now back on GitHub. Okay, I can see that it added my comment there, uh, but there's no option to actually create a new review. Okay, so just for experimentation's sake, let's see if I can create a new review from the extension at all. So I'm gonna do here, interesting. Okay, so it's just letting me add comments and not gather those comments into a review. Okay, so I'm gonna go to description now. Is there any any way here to say, start a new review? I don't think so. Maybe if I right click, so check out, refresh, open pull requests. It's a good first step to get a local visualization of pull requests, which is great because all we've been able to do up to this point is, is go to GitHub and do those pull requests. But without the actual create or start a review context, I'm not gonna be able to use it. I, you know, I really need to be able to group things in the context for review. So that's a quick first look at the GitHub pull request extension. I really like where they're going with this and I hope to see more improvements.